Hey you guys, it's Debbie from My Vagabond Style and I am here today with the Marguerite Miller Collage Weekly Planner Challenge and this is week 45. So this is an odd time for me to do it. This is Friday night and it comes out on Sunday morning. I always do my collages in the morning. I rarely, I can count on one hand that I've ever done them at night. <laughs> I think my brain kind of shuts down in the evening. I just don't have the creativity. But um, I'm going to push through it tonight and go ahead and see what we can come up with. I um, Tomorrow we're going to uh, do a little shopping and I won't be around to get this done. And uh, I know I won't feel like doing it after we've been shopping all day. So anyway... I have the props here, so something noisy. I'm going to go with an airplane. Not sure if I'm going to use this one here, or I really like this image. I'm going to try to, I would like to use this one. And uh, then the next thing is a signature. So on this um, letter here, there's a signature on the bottom, and it's... Um, from a aircraft enterprises. So we will try to fit that in. And then it also had something underlined in red. So that kind of covered both of them right there. Um, a formula. So a formula, I'm gonna go with this drink. <laughs> it's That's a bit of a stretch, I know. The formula here uh, for making this cocktail. So we might use that. I also have this here, which is an ad for uh, Humble Oil uh, and Refining Company, and it has that the this oil is specially formulated to give your engine full power performance. <laughs> so that would be a formula. And then uh, something found in a yard, we're going to go with this barbecue. So I might use this whole scene, but found in a, in a yard would be a barbecue. So with that, we'll see how we can get this all to come together. I'm going to have to do a little fussy, fussy cutting. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So um, anyway, what is going on in your world? I um, have been trying to get our house in order since we're back here now in Arizona. And um, I got a lot done today, but... We have um, more to go, so I, I need to get a couple. I think I'm gonna we're gonna get a new bedroom set, so we're gonna do bedroom set shopping tomorrow, and hopefully we are successful. We tried it one time last season that we were here in Arizona, and we could never find what we wanted, or um, it was either that the quality wasn't there, and for the price, or the price was just too much. We didn't want to. To spend that so um, hopefully we're successful tomorrow and find a new bedroom set my husband got up he put up some floating shelves for us he made them um, I wanted a live edge I don't know if you know what that is but he made floating shelves out of live edge wood so they turned out beautiful and um, so that was quite a a process to get that all done. We actually he actually made the shelves last year when we were here, and um, they were we left them in the house. Then he didn't put them up and put something on top of them, I guess, and so that they would stay flat because they were like not completely cured or something. I don't know some wood thing. And um, so when we came back, he was ready to put it, put them up, and they look beautiful. So he did a great job. Other than that, I mean, it's just been a lot of getting this house ready. It's been it sat here, and um, so we needed to to clean everything up. You know, everything had a little bit of dust on it. I'm trying to see where this line goes here. What this is. Is that part of it? 
It almost seems like that needs to be cut right there. Everything's such a grayscale, it's hard to tell what's what here. All right, I'll be right back. I'm just going to cut the rest of this out. All right, so I have got that cut out. And um, isn't it interesting? This Piper Colt was only $4,995. This was an um, aviation book that from 1960 came out of the same one that this was in. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, let's see how we think we can use all of this. This is the exact size of my Chunky Monkey that I put all of these Marguerite Miller collages into. And I can either leave it like this and try to work around it. I kind of I kind of felt like um, this barbecue, like they were flying to uh, to the barbecue and it sort of looked like them right here. Of course, her hair grew a little bit, <laughs> but it could be the same people. And let's just see, I'm going to roughly cut it here. I'll go back and cut more of this off. And we'll cut the bottom here. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to go right around here. So I am getting ready to launch my flipping out with friends and that is going to be coming up here soon. I'm going to have other channels on, featured on my channel and we're going to kind of go through our, everybody's going to go through a few of their uh, Marguerite Miller collages and it'll be fun just to get to know some of the other channels and so look for that. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you hit the bell so that you'll know when those uh, flipping out with friends, when that hits. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I have, I think, eight channels right now. I may do a couple more depending on if um, time permits. This guy is going scuba diving, I guess. Let's see if we can work all of them in. Okay. Might have to cut off part of the barbecue. Not much. I don't really want to um, not show the signature, so I'm going to have to move this up just a little bit. Get the signature in there. And the underlining in red, I'll put that there. I will be right back. Okay, thought I was recording and wasn't. This is why I don't do things at night. <laughs> so, I, don't know. I actually got this put down here without you. I'm sorry. And uh, cut this out here. I'm going to put this about here. 
Um, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe instead of this, because it's kind of hard to fit it in, I might go ahead and see if I can put any of this oil company ad in here. All right, then we'll see. Oh, this was from 1961. Thought it was 1960. I don't know if I'll use this whole strip, part of it. Maybe up here. I do really like this writing here, this name here, but do I really want to, this just doesn't go. I need to rethink this. Okay, I guess I'm just going to go with this right here. I want the word formulated to show up. So I'm going to put it right about here and cut that off right there and I'm going to cut it right here so these people aren't here. I think I want to put this down first. I have the 1960 showing. He's going to go over here somewhere. So let's get this airplane down. I'm going to put that red oil banner on the top. I am a hot mess with the glue right now. <laughs> I am not going to do these at night anymore. I'm not. <laughs> it will just be late. I feel like the, you know, I just always try to get my videos out on Sunday early in the morning and I haven't missed one yet so I think I was just determined not to miss my own personal deadline of Sunday morning <laughs> and let's see this I'm gonna put right up here Sometimes we're tougher on ourselves than anyone else ever could be, right? I want the little guy there. I want him to make it on. And then this guy is like, you know, the mechanic. He's got his oil stick here, but then when I put him here, I was kind of like, well, is he, can you see his little oil stick right there? <laughs> I was kind of thinking he looked like maybe he was like checking the steak. So I think he, you know, did his job. He got them all, they're up and flying. And he's like, okay, I got the steaks on. You guys finish your flight. And we'll have a little beach barbecue. So that's what our aircraft mechanic Joe is doing. All right, so I want him on there next. And the word formulated is showing. <laughs> I don't know why I felt like I needed the word formulated in there.
this will go right here. I would put him over just a hair. I don't know if he's going to move right now. He might be done. Oh, yep, he'll move. I, I wanted him over just a little bit so he is going to poke the stake. Because that is just fun. Right there. You can still see the signature somewhat. We'll get this down. This little image right here is from a book of vintage cocktails. I think it's Seagram's. Let me look. Yeah, look how fun this book is. Seagram's, Seagram's Vacation Time Food and Drink Guide. The cutest graphics in here. Look at that. I just love all these old cocktail things, all recipes. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Yes. So cute. Anyway, I'm glad I got to use this. And now that I'm back here, um, I did use my copy machine, so I didn't have to cut that book up. I can't help myself. I know I was going to crack the hoard this year, but... It's just not happening. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm looking for the pin. If you guys have the art glitter glue, do you guys always lose that little pin? Here it is. Oh my goodness, like seriously? Okay, I can cut this off right here. But anyway, um, I hope that you will join me for the Flipping Out with Friends. That's going to be so fun, you guys. I start posting the lineup here shortly of who's going to be on, but it's kind of like a, a fun surprise right now. But I know you will recognize a lot of the channels. And then there's going to be some that you're going to be like, oh my gosh, there's two gals that I have that are from Instagram, and they are awesome they, they do great collages, so I know you're going to be excited to um, meet them, and then you can follow them on Instagram and watch all their awesome collage artwork. But, uh, okay, I think that this one is done. Is this, like, my most favorite? No, but it turned out pretty good. I, I'm happy with it. I think I might go back over this with a pen just to kind of outline this. But I have something noisy, which is the plane, a signature. You see the signature there. Something underlined in red right there. Um, something or a formula. And I have the oil here that is formulated for you know, aircraft. And then something found in the yard is the barbecue. And I did not use the definition. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.